At 120 meters or 400 feet, inert gas such as nitrogen and helium dissolves into our tissues at a rate 13 times faster than at the surface. If we would surface directly from this point, all this gas would make a dramatic escape out of our tissues through our body and result in extreme pain and most likely an uncomfortable death. And that's the essence of decompression diving. Most of the gas that dissolves into our tissues while at depth has to come out before we reach the surface or there will be severe consequences. Decompression theory is not a definitive science. Many variables go into calculating decompression times, but when using a reasonably conservative decompression schedule, a bottom time of just 10 minutes yields an ascent and decompression time of 78 minutes. And that's putting it mildly, because of those 10 minutes of bottom time, over 6 minutes is spent as descent time. That means that over two thirds of the time is spent just getting there. That leaves very little time for exploration. One argument might be to simply choose to add more bottom time. But every breath at 120 meters 400 feet requires the gas equivalent of 13 breaths at the surface. So while simply bringing more gas is theoretically an option, longer bottom times also require longer decompression times. For every extra minute of bottom time, the decompression schedule gets longer by 8 minutes. So that means if we wanted to add just 5 minutes of exploration time to the bottom time, we would have to add an extra 40 minutes to the decompression time. 